the John and Sam show. Now, uh, I was gonna eat something, you know, try some of the stuff I found, but uh, yeah, you, yeah, you, the one with the face. It's on your fur. What? Say hello. Definitely picking up the sounds of him smacking his face against my desk. Yeah. Sam, come here. Come here. Come on. Yeah, something in your fur. All right, come here. What? Come on. Hi. Hi. What is this? Is this what you wanted? This is what I was gonna eat. But he seems to think they're treats. So today we're gonna be trying Andy's Boom Chicka Pop Sweet and Shelfy Kettle Corn. And he thinks they're a bag of treats, which is why he's going like crazy for them. Here, Sam, look. That's this on the whole grain vegan. Oh god, not more of this vegan shit. This better be good, because I love kettle corn. But it's really hard to mess up popcorn or kettle corn. See? Look. They're not treats. Okay, they somehow managed to mess up kettle corn. Real simple ingredients, nothing fake. No. Kosher, no high fructose corn syrup, non-GMO, vegan, whole grain. Maybe I just got a bad piece. I'm tasting more salty and sweet. And it's kettle corn. It's supposed to have more of a crunch to it, but it just tastes like regular fucking popcorn. Is it worse than those fucking nasty ass vegan cookies? No. It just tastes like popcorn. That's just bland. Like, there's nothing on it. You can have a little bit of a salty flavor, but it's not much is there. Yeah. As you can see, I keep throwing it in my mouth. Which means it's not, like I say, not nearly as bad. But whenever I have kettle corn, it's always like a very, you know, caramelly caramely uh, flavor. Uh, very crunchy. Not a pop like that, but an actual crunch. <clears throat> At least the bag is colorful looking. Oh my god. But salty. Well... Good thing it was only a dollar. I mean, really, that's like the only thing about these things that I like is they're only a dollar. Because if they weren't, like those cookies, those things were so fucking bad. I would, I would have been that person who went back and be like, "This is fucking disgusting. I want my money back." But it was only a dollar, so I mean, here you go, sir. Here's your dollar back. Make a better investment next time. But, um, Angie's. 
made in the USA. Nothing fake. A pop of positivity. Back when Dan and I first started popping popcorn in our garage in Mankato, Minnesota, we wanted to teach our kids the value of hard work and have a little fun along the way. We also wanted to snack and wanted a snack. We felt good about feeding them. Hugely flavored, no, hugely flavored snack, hugely flavorful snacks packed with positively not guilt, positivity, not guilt. Snacks that keep the joy in everyday snacking and snacking and snacking with bright bags that radiate all the love and fun that we went into them from the beginning. That went into them from the beginning. After all, isn't that what snacking should be about? No, snacking should be about stuffing food in your mouth so that way you feel better. I don't care what the package looks like. <laughs> Uh, we couldn't agree more. Our sweet and salty kettle corn, uh, is made with real simple ingredients. You know, ingredients that don't have to scrunch up your face to say, and nothing fake. So all of its ingredients are sourced from nature. Enjoy. I'm sorry, Angie, but you're a huge fucking liar. This isn't flavorful. Like I said, it's not completely terrible but it's still bad so what's this now i i'm not going to read this myself i'm going to let you read this instead yeah But it never wants to. There we go. Now that you can see it properly, I'm sure you guys were able to see it before. I'm a little bit salty. I'm a little bit rock and roll. Sam, what do you have to say about it? He's like, nothing. They're not treats. I don't care. So, all in all, Boom Chicka Pop Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn. Is it good? No. Is it bad? Yeah. Is it worse than those nasty ass vegan cookies? No. It just tastes like regular popcorn, no kettle corn flavor. You know, like I said, that, that whole it, kettle corn has a very caramel flavor to it. And it's very crunchy, you know, not like regular popcorn, but you get like a, a kind of like Cracker Jacks, how you get that kind of crunch because it's got like a coating on the outside. This this doesn't have that. It's just popcorn. They have no right saying this is kettle corn. Like I said, maybe, I, you know, like I say with everything, maybe I just got a bad batch. But this... Yeah, like out right here. That right out there, that like caramelization look of it, but it's not giving me that crunch that I expect from kettle corn. So, what's that? Is that just the? Try to show you guys that too. Wow, these brands are so quirky, aren't they? 
I focus. Focus, focus. So quirky. Nom nom now. So we have some crappy saying on the back. We have nom nom now. How much is 140 calorie what 140 per serving. How much is a serving? Two servings per container. Two servings, about two cups. The whole bag is about 320 uh, calories. Uh, total fat 23%, saturated fat 5%. Sodium 11%, total carbs 15, dietary fibers 14, included added sugars 36, and only 4% iron. Ingredients, popcorn, sunflower oil, cane sugar, sea salt. Well, I can taste salt, but it doesn't taste like sea salt. This is why people say that vegan food's fucking nasty. It's fucking kettle corn. How the fuck do you mess that up? Uh, if you guys want to try for yourself, I mean, I don't know where it, it, it's at. Uh, I found it at Dollar General, of course, because it's the only fucking place I can go. But I'm sure they have it. You know, Walmart, Target, maybe. Target, I don't know. Kmart, if people still shop at Kmart. Um, H-E-B, Food Town, ShopRite, A&P. Uh... Publix, BJ's, all your favorite grocery food providers. Big Lots, you know, since Big Lots has food, you know, for whatever reason. Not a lot of it, but they actually have a larger amount than I thought they would have. Food Line, Ingles, Harris Titter, Harry Titty. We call it Harry Titty. We don't call it Harris Teeter, we call it Harry Titty. So any of those places, if you have any one of those places, take a look. They should be in the snacks, um, probably by the other, you know, either popcorn or kettle corn. Speaking of, there's there's another bag of like popcorn, kettle corn or something I've seen that I've wanted to try for a while. Maybe next time. But uh, yeah, it's bland. <laughs> How do you fuck up kettle corn? Oh, you vegans. Just because it's healthy doesn't mean it has to taste bad. You can have a good balance of taste and nutrition. It doesn't always have to taste bland. Those cookies were shit. This popcorn or kettle corn is shit. I'm starting to see a trend with vegan food. So... Again, not bashing vegans if this is what they choose, but if this is the stuff you eat and it's like this, then I'd rather just keep getting fat with flavorful foods. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.